I was going to say for a second, like, I was going to start off by saying that, and then I was like, wait, maybe Wadi is actually higher, but no. So, in terms of seeding, an upset, not a huge one, granted, you know, Zenodo definitely in that same tier. They're both in, like, the high teens, early 20s. Mm -hmm. I think 18 and 20, maybe 22 or 21, if I had to take a guess. But either way, um, he's going to be here taking on the number one player in the world in the same exact matchup that he just made a slight upset in. Mm -hmm. So let's and see. Maybe he's just got some advanced mastery against Diddy Kong. And real quick, uh, PB&J, if I can get the Surface Pro. What The key for Wadi is when he is here and Zero is here mm -hmm. to get away from here. <laughs> this whole area right here and yes. up here is very dangerous yeah. because... Once you get all like all this kind of stuff up here and 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 whoa, like whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's what a snowman. Where are we going with it's this? It's a snowman. Oh yeah. All right, Frosty. It's a snowman. Enough man. of that. But yeah, you want to <laughs> stay away. You want to uh, stay away from right there against zero for sure. Yeah, it's best I find that when you're in where you drew that little X and zero is where mm -hmm. you drew the O to do a button combination like this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> PB&J, if you want to just flash to the surface for a sec. That's what's, like, playing on the edge against Zero. Actually, I think we're, we're Yeah, too we're deep. starting the game. I'll leave we're it too there. Too deep, yeah. We'll get some real analysis on the surface eventually. Okay, Wadi, though, with a huge start. Yeah, Wadi, 44% in a flash, which is nuts. But Zero got the banana in, in hand. Now banana's gone. Wadi catching it. Nice catch. Oh my gosh, that detail actually hit? Okay. Yeah, I think this matchup is kind of exaggerated in terms of how bad people think it is for Mewtwo. There's definitely a lot of trouble spots. For example, the edge. Mewtwo is not great at getting off the edge against anybody, let alone probably the most dangerous character in that position, yeah. Diddy Kong. But he has a ground poke that can mess with Diddy's down tilt and pretty much anything else in the game in his own down tilt. Uh, it's just seriously one of the, the wow. best pokes in the game. He tried to disable him, and Zero was like, plot armor, activate. <laughs> X button. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in addition to being able to fight Diddy Ball on the ground, Mewtwo also has a ton of aerial mobility, great aerial kill moves too, ways to deal with monkey flip. Yep. Or you could just roll out of the way. I was thinking more along the lines of just up smashing it on reaction. And Wadi so far has already clanked out Zero's banana as an approach with weak Shadow Ball multiple times here. Right, right. So and that's something to watch out for. Having a big projectile is also definitely a huge boon in the Diddy Kong matchup. Just because you don't have to approach him when he's sitting in shield with Banana. You can throw something big at a shield that really discourages him from staying and blocking too much. All right, Wadi going to take full advantage of this platform while it's hovering off the edge of the stage, yeah. though. Wadi, a very defensive player, takes a very cerebral approach to the game. Uh, takes his time, which is really great because Mewtwo, when he gets that hit, can take that hit to the limit. I mean this in the best way possible. Wadi's a very flowchart-oriented player, but, I mean, that's not to be considered an insult. Like, he basically has a process, a process, I'm going process, mm -hmm. and he just runs it very efficiently. Well, right now this percent deficit is definitely uh, shortened here. Now, uh, switch rolls into Zero's favor. Wadi at 109. Zero with that tight pressure at the edge. Yeah. Wadi had a chance in between there to grab him after the banana and before the down tilt, but oh it's God. definitely hard to do that on reaction. Also risky. Yeah, I think Wadi needs to needs to kind of push the offense slightly a bit more. Nice grab right there, but I feel like even on the inside game, he's giving Zero too much uh, a benefit of the doubt. But gets the first stock here with an up air Mewtwo up air. That thing is brolic, man. Yeah, it's pretty strong. I'm actually surprised to have seen Zero die from it because it kind of hits at like a, a diagonal type of angle rather yep. than just straight up. But either way, Wadi getting it done and taking the first stock here. Ooh. Nice interception. Yeah, very good stuff. I like that low nair once again, just threatening Diddy's frame. But Detail up smash can care less. So 47% a lead here for Wadi, but a small one. Just a slight little error in his pressure string too. He was doing so well, and then Zero was able to just sneak in a spot dodge through that dash grab, and it was all over from there. However, 50% up, effectively. Yeah, I really like that by Zero shooting peanuts up at that platform, going to keep Wadi busy worrying about that instead of just charging Shadow Ball for free. 
Nice float through back air by Zero. Wadi now trying to, to cut Zero off here. And I think he's been doing a good job of just limiting Zero's mobility. But right now, Zero's starting to move. Maybe showing why the Mewtwo players dread this matchup so much. I think Monkey Flip Kick specifically, not the grab. It's actually kind of a huge demon from Mewtwo. Yeah, Zero is moving right now. Getting his offense in. Flowing through the stage quite confidently, it seems. There's a Monkey Flip Kick you just spoke about. Yeah, I was saying before how Mewtwo's good at dealing with that move, but you know when you do add in, whoa, whoa, whoa well, when you when crazy. you do add the kick in, it really crushes through his neutral air and a lot of other moves pretty easily. Nice, beautiful D tilt. Gonna trade with that up air. Both players are in dangerous percentages here because Mewtwo he's strong. Uh oh. Nice, good recovery here by Zero. Oh, in the forward air, will that do it? Yes, oh. it will. Zero forgot to equip his plot armor. Would have given him enough weight to survive that. Yeah, look at that. So the Shadow Claw coming through here and uh, launching Zero into a game one loss here against Wadi. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. This is, of course, the number one player in the world. You don't see him drop many games, let alone mm -hmm. sets. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like you said. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't lose a lot. That happens to me sometimes, too. <laughs> All right. Here we go, second match is gonna be Town and City. Those small boundaries are definitely gonna contribute to a lot of early deaths here, at least I would expect. I mean, maybe, who knows, they could still end up surviving to 200 if they avoid each other's kill moves. But these are, well, at least Mewtwo is a character loaded with kill power, and Diddy is a character with tons of reliable kill setups. So you're just gonna see those start to do their job a little bit earlier than normal. Oh my god. <laughs> Not and, that early. Yeah. Zero out here looking like uh, ZSS with all them up bears. Nice down throw. Going to go for the Shadow Claw. Not going to get it. Got to love that little stall with the confusion. You're thinking, oh, Mewtwo's passing by the edge from the air. I definitely have to block one of his big aerials. But nope, he's got a command grab in the air as well. It is pretty slow and doesn't really lead to anything on hit. But still, just opening somebody up, getting that one initial hit is a huge deal sometimes. Oh, nice. Good hesitation there with the Shadow Ball charge and toss. Neutral Air going to clink that banana out. And percent around even once again. So, so far that game one not looking like too much of a fluke here. Definitely as, not. As Wadi keeps it very even here against the best player in the world. Are we going to see Zero's next loss here today at Royal Flush? I don't know. We don't want to. We don't want to say it too early. But yeah, commentator's curse is totally real. So yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna put that in the like electromagnetic field out here. You know. <laughs> but a beautiful up tilt going to seal that stock from Wadi. Okay, got the back air into nothing so far. But Wadi just keeping the pressure on, just avoiding damage until he ran right into the jab. Nice, beautiful neutral air going to send Zero off stage. Now we got it. Mexican standoff at the edge, <laughs> Shadow Ball. Yeah, Shadow Ball done now from Wadi, and he read that roll, but Zero just too slippery. I like how Wadi is taking to the skies to avoid the banana play, but has to keep in mind that Diddy Kong's aerials are also a huge force to be reckoned with. <laughs> that was godlike with Zero. That was crazy. Let's see, is he going to be able to take the stock off? That's really such a huge deal. Just the mental fortitude that you have when you've got both of your stocks online. You kind of feel this invincible rush. Yeah. Yeah, you know you have that safety blanket of the second stock to work with. Wow, he didn't try it. Oh, he's there done. Yeah, he gets tossed the coolest throw in the game. Yeah, for sure. definitely. Yeah. Psychically catapulting you off the top. Yeah, we don't need a Twitter poll for that one. Nope. <gasps> mm. Okay, Wadi kind of... Slide him by there. Should have been an easy punish, but I think Zero estimate or uh, guessed something else would happen. Oh, oh there we go. Smash going to do it. So Zero responds game two with a JV. All right. Untouched, man. What an answer. Drop that first game, but it's not going to be quite that easy. Yeah, it's crazy. I really am interested to see how Wadi responds here because. Um, you know, that's a that's the thing, man. When you place a player like Zero as Simpai gives him that advice. Yeah, getting some advice from Zero Suit Samus. Mm -hmm. Hey, just do up air and top B. It yeah. works when I do it. But uh 
you know, that that's the thing, man. When you play someone that's like Zero's caliber and, you know, you take a game and they respond as they should with with, with a, a uh, you know, great performance in the next game, it's up to you to now respond. Let's see how Wadi uh, does that. Will he, will he fold here in this game three and give Zero the set uh, count advantage or will he get the lead here? Well, he started by picking Lilat with his response and mm -hmm. I already disapprove of that. But, yeah. I mean, I, if it works for you, then it works for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you don't know something about me and Max, we do not like this stage. Ban. But anyway. Please ban it. Please ban it. Please ban it. Okay. Please, please, please. But Back anyway. to your match. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Wadi, again, off to a lead here in the start. Ooh. Let's yeah. see, though, if he's able to actually carry that all the way. Because, you know, 80%, nice. That's cool and all. But this is a game of stocks, not a percent. So you can take infinite hits and smash and never die, which is what sets it apart from mm -hmm. other games like Street Fighter. It's not just about opening your opponent up. It's about opening them up the right way. Yeah, getting the job done on top of that. Here we go. Zero has already fully responded to this lead, taking one of his own for about three seconds. Nice, beautiful confusion there. Like yeah. A man grab coming through. Wadi using it both to beat shield and also just to float around in the air and make his landings more ambiguous. Zero. Really liking that. Yeah, Zero connecting with forward air here. So percent virtually even here, one percent separating them. I'm surprised we didn't see an up tilt there by Zero. Oh, oh my gosh. What? All right, the gimmicks. I feel like the second jab was definitely a mistake. Like he meant to do maybe down tilt or wow. something and, and just got a missed input, but the shadow ball was extra swagging. I can't believe Zero blocked that second shadow ball when he was on the platform. That was crazy. Wow, beautiful recovery by Wadi. That was, that was a little tight right there. Yeah, that Zero just trying to force him all the way out to the left, but now we've got a relatively even match once again. Yeah, no way should he have died to that. Wadi, though, in that LRA start position right now. Yeah. He stands up into the banana. Was that a bait? But no. Okay. And the up throw will do it. So, coolest throw in the game strikes again, man. That was an everything went better than expected moment because it definitely looked like, one, Wadi was screwed because he stood up right into the banana. Then Zero missed the punish. Then Wadi missed the punish on the whiff down smash, <laughs> but able to catch a roll to the center from Zero and just got it done that way. Yep. Now we've got a dead even game and set. One game apiece, one stock apiece. Yeah, Zero coming through with the drop kick from the top rope. Gonna get that stock away from Wadi. We have uh, just another competitive game in game three of this set, man. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, and because of Diddy Kong's hurtbox shrinkage when he finishes the monkey flip kick off the ground, it's really difficult for some characters, me too included, to punish him. Uh, Wadi could have just done maybe turn around down tilt, but also it's kind of ambiguous which side Diddy lands on sometimes, so you don't want to you know, accidentally punish the wrong direction. But the neutral air, for example, was too high up to hit Diddy. I'm sure the tilt of Lilat doesn't know favors in that either. Yeah, you see Zero establishing that fair. Look at that. You dodge a fair, you get hit with the bear. Monkey flip follow up. And Sounds like we're at the zoo, man. Bears yeah. and monkeys and all that stuff. <laughs> Oh, oh, no way. That okay. had to have been a bait. He knew. Wadi knew, but Zero didn't. That's now two or three times I've seen the back hitbox of Confusion reflect a projectile. Ooh, that's it. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think, I don't know if Wadi wanted to do that on purpose, man. That forward smash. Yeah, possibly not. Might have been a dash attack. But either way, Zero's just blocking. So yeah. it was ill-advised regardless. Now. Right, so Sarah's like, what do you ban? It's so funny. Naro, Naro told me, he's like, yo, when you ask Zero, like, yo, what, uh, Zero says, what do you ban? And then you'd be like, Lila. And he'd be like, ah? He does it all the time. Like, ah? Like, he can't hear you. Ah? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In my opinion, that was a good decision. Ah? <laughs> it is just my opinion that Lila Cruz should be banned. <laughs> Please get rid of that stage. That Shadow Ball did 24%. That Shadow Ball ate his Wheaties this morning, man. Yeah, <laughs> every morning. Does a lot of damage. Yeah. Mewtwo does a lot of damage in general. Yes. Makes up for how early he dies, though. Mm -hmm. Of course, a classic glass cannon. Oh, all right. Nice start there for Zero. Finally getting something going with the down tilts. But I don't know, man. This is, uh, I feel like we've seen Wadi off to such a strong start now four times in a row. But is he able to complete is really the answer that we're all looking for. Ooh. See, that's wow. what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Why does that happen? <laughs> I mean. That was crazy. 
Oh, wow. Get it out of here. Stop littering. <laughs> Back girl going to give Zero the positioning here and percent around even once again. As he says, stop. Uh-oh. Vulnerable on the edge. I feel like, yeah, when you re-grab, the trick answer is to get up attack just because they're expecting you to roll or yeah. do something silly. It's like, oh, I bet you didn't think I'd pick this option. Wow. Oh. The tip of the toenail going to connect and get Wadi out of here. The first stock is gone. Zero with the lead here in game four. And looking to extend that lead. Look at this. The positioning right there by Zero off of all of those short hops was immaculate. Amazing Ooh. stuff. Wadi really digging deep here, <laughs> trying to land down air against Diddy's barrels, which honestly oh, are eating. way harder to edge guard than they look. Yeah. If I played Mewtwo, I'd probably try to go for neutral air just due to the long lasting hitboxes mm -hmm. and if you just clip him with one of the weak ones he'll go into that super fast sink. Yeah. Yeah, Nair Nair wrecks Diddy's up B, but yeah. it's a matter of getting Diddy in the spot to be able to comfortably do it. Because Diddy has good uh angles on his uh barrels. So you can get tricked and then be in a bad position and then you could get wrecked and uh be in a highlight reel or something. So Yeah definitely and you can get just side beat and your head jumped on Etc. A lot of, <laughs> lot of weird ways. A lot of variables out here that can ru that can ruin your day. Yeah, Diddy gets a lot of flack for having a quote unquote gimpable recovery, but I feel like that perception has just gone out the window lately. Everyone kind of knows now. You can mix up the barrels and, and monkey flips and save your double jump. The word I would use for it is it's fragile. If Maybe. You touch it. If you touch it, you could kill him. But well, he has ways to get around it. But it doesn't matter because Saddle doing his thing in a 3-1 victory here over Wadi, landing the up tilt at the end and getting it done. Yeah, Mewtwo himself very fragile, as yeah. you can see. Mm -hmm. Just got completely wiped off the board by that up tilt there. But yeah, man, well done by both players here. Wadi definitely starting off very explosively in all four of those games, but Zero just said, you know, man, I have the Cobra Clutch. I'm the best player in the world, very well seasoned, and you're not going to crack me just because you had one good start or took the first game.